Today is a milestone for everything I've been doing in my business. I got monetized one year ago today and I want to show you how much money I've made. Now you're going to see other videos out there of people making thousands and thousands of dollars, maybe in their first year. I don't know, but I have less than 3000 subscribers. I did not hit 3000 until I, I may have hit it right when I hit that one year mark, but basically I earned all that money with less than 3000 subscribers. I didn't hit 3000 until just maybe the last week or so. So all year, I had less than 3000 subscribers and I'm going to show you how much money I made. And the reason I'm showing you this is not so that you can compare me to those bigger channels and go, I'm not going to follow her anymore. I'm going to follow them. I want you to see that it works, that you have to stay consistent and don't give up, keep doing what you're doing. And I don't even care if you're doing it wrong, just keep doing it because you'll find out you're doing something wrong one day and then you'll fix it. That's how this works. But less than 3000 subscribers, one year monetized. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let's dig in. Today is this very special day for me because it's been one year since I was monetized. And that's why I wanted to do this video to tell everybody how much a small channel can make in their first year of being monetized. Now you're going to see people out there that blew it up and they made lots of money, but sometimes that gets discouraging. I could sit here and say, oh my gosh, I'm failing. I'm not making $40,000 or something like that. But you need to be on your own journey. And as long as you're doing better today, than you did yesterday, then you're successful and you, you're going to move at your pace. And that's what you need to be watching. So this is my pace. This is what has happened on my channel one year ago today, January 15th. I know you're watching in this later, but today I'm showing you all of my data as of January 15th, 2021. I was monetized January 15th, 2020. So what I wanted you to do is go to your analytics page and I'm gonna click up here in the top right hand corner, last 365 days, because I was monetized in the middle of the month, but I made $2,148.36. I don't know about you, but that's exciting to me because you, when you first start making your videos, you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this for nothing. Uh, financially, but a lot of people quit if that's the reason that they do it. I'll be honest with you. But if you're making videos because you're excited to make them and you're really sharing something that you're passionate about, then you're okay to work for a year without making money if that's how long it takes. So that's why some people make it and some don't. I'm personally very excited. I made nothing the whole first year I was on and I, I created a video almost every day I, that was recommended to me from a, another um, YouTuber that I was watching. They had said they made a video every day. They tried to come in and make two a week or one a week and things just weren't moving fast enough. So I took that person's advice and I did make one every day. You're going to hear conflicting views on that you need to do you know choose whatever you think is best but for me that's what i did for eight months i made a video every single day and then i went down to five days and then i was at four days all the way up until january of this year i was doing um, two videos a week and now i'm doing one video a week so because I've, I've gotten to the point where I do have an audience. My subscribers this past year was 899. My watch time was 5.2 thousand hours and 76 thousand views. Now my lifetime, if you want to see that, is going to be a little bit different because I have the views from that first year. So the lifetime views are 150 thousand, uh, nine thousand watch time hours, and then 3,061 subscribers as of today and the as of today the whole lifetime of the channel was two thousand one hundred sixty dollars now if i want to look at just 2020 for the sake of taxes um, you can pull this up by the year so when i go to do my taxes and i claim this income that's what i'm going to claim whatever i made in 2020 but very exciting now one of the things i want to share since i've got your attention that once you start getting 
subscribers and you start getting some watch time and you start growing you're going to have better analytics i was so discouraged when i first had my channel because i'm like i want to see all these analytics just hang in there they'll all start popping up but i want to show you something that i have learned about the monetization um i keep hearing people say oh if you have a million views you're only going to make about two dollars a view or I, I two dollars every thousand views and things like that but it's really about the ads and what kind of videos you're putting out and who's advertising on your video that's where the money is different and i want to show you something right here let's go look at revenue i'm going to give you an example over that over the data for the from um for the 2020 my cpm is 65 dollars 73 now what is cpm cpm is the cost per thousand views that the advertiser pays so when that advertiser gets a thousand people to click uh, YouTube will charge them $65.73. I will earn $28.37 off of that. Now, this is an average of my entire channel. So I'm pretty happy with that CPM. I think it's pretty good. So it looks like I'm getting advertisers who have good CPMs. I'm not saying not to make videos if this is low, but if you happen to have a video that has like 5,000 views and another one that has 5,000 views and the income is different, this is what you want to look at the revenue and the type of ads that are being placed on there. And you can go in and look at individual videos and I'll show you how to do that very quickly. Let's go back over to the overview. Uh, here's one down here that I have um, that gets a lot of views. I'll go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to go into the analytics of it. It's your channel verified. A lot of people have been watching this. I made it back in 2019, I think. But as you can see, the CPM on this is not really high. I've had 5,000 views and it's only making $6.35 per thousand. So that's an example of a video that even though it's getting watched pretty well, it doesn't have a very high CPM and I'm only making $2. There, there you go. I'm making $2.58 per thousand views. So that's why there's a discrepancy. But when you look at the average of your channel, $65 is pretty good. Don't get rid of videos like this. Keep them because even though this isn't pulling in a lot of money, it's pulling in money. I don't have to ever touch this again. I don't have to do anything with it. Just in the last 48 hours, it's gotten 103 views. Now, what I could do is double down on that topic and maybe make more videos or maybe look at it and see if I can add some information on a new video. But definitely don't discount videos that are only making a smaller amount because it all adds up in the end. You can go in. Now, remember, we're still on 2020. You can go back into revenue and then I'm going to show you down here where it says see more and then you're going to be able to see which videos in 2020 actually brought in the most money and then you can go in and analyze and see which ones um, have good CPMs as, as well. Um, right here you can see the RPM on this schedule here. Um, this will give you a good idea. Go down here to where it says I did a video on vidIQ or TubeBuddy and the RPM. Now that's what I reap. That's what I get. CPM is what the ad person pays, but, and that's over here. You can see it all here. $21 is what they paid and I get $8.55 per thousand views. So as you can see, a lot of my CPMs and RPMs are pretty good. They're over two digits and that's good. Down here, um, I got $93 for every thousand views. Um, but this video, how to remove a pop-up funnel from click funnels is not one of my top. It, it only had 266 views last year, but again, don't discount that. It's not just the views, but it's the RPM and the CPM as well. So you want to, you want to go in and check. And again, you, I might go in and say, you know, obviously this is a good RPM or CPM, maybe I need to make more videos about that, maybe make a better one that might get more views, maybe go in and change the thumbnail, things like that. But that's where you go in and start looking at your analytics. And those are the things that can make your income be higher. Just be careful. I will say this about changing videos that are doing well. I had one that was doing really, really well. Actually, it was starting to take off really well. And I accidentally, I went in and started changing some things and actually the views dropped. So be careful. <laughs> Sometimes when you change it, it messes up the analytics 
coming from the other side. I personally would recommend just doing another video, change up the title, add more value because you're only going to keep getting better. For me to go back and fix a video to try to recycle it and, and make that one video do better from two years ago, I personally think it would be better to make a new one because after two years, I've obviously gotten better. We all get better after two years. So that is how much money I made. Let's go back to the last 365 days because I told you I've been monetized one year ago today and I have made $2,148.36. And that's what you can do on a YouTube channel. I have been doing this for two years. It took me one year to get monetized and one year of pay. So let's see what we do next year. Keep watching. And, and as I learn and as I go on this journey and I find more tips, more things that I learn along the way, I always will share that with you. And please put in the comments, if you have questions, please ask in the comments because when you ask me a question that makes me dig in and go research it if I don't know the answer and I'll make a video and we can all learn together. But don't stop. And remember, you're on your journey. You're not comparing yourself to other people. We like to watch other people that are doing better than us. In fact, I'd love to watch Gillian Perkins. I'm going to put her video up right now. She just shared how much she made last year. And she made $76,000. But you can see how she digs in. She'll show you some of her analytics. It's exciting to watch people that are doing better, but then you also want to dig in and get better yourself. So that'll be you someday. All right. I hope this video was helpful. Again, ask questions below and I'll see you on the next video.